Inez, it's really lovely to see you again. I can't wait. Tell me how you got on in the GCSEs. Um, I got an A in the chemistry exam that I did in the morning, and I got a nine in maths and an A star in Spanish. And the other ones? Um, I'd rather not say, but they went well. The thing is, all things considered, that those are marvellous results, especially like you say chemistry, which is the one you sat the morning after the fire happened. To get an A in that, I mean, just to sit the exam as we discussed at the time was amazing, but to get an A, you must be incredibly proud. Yeah. How did it feel this morning when you um, opened up the results? Um, I was really nervous. I wasn't, I didn't know what to expect. It could have gone one way or the other. Um, but yeah, I'm quite pleased with them. And it also means it's enough to go on and do what you want to do in A-levels? Yeah. Great, which is? Uh, chemistry and maths and economics and sociology. Wow, okay, so that's leaving your options open. I mean, sort of basically scientific. What's the, what's the ultimate plan? What would you like to go on to do after? I still don't know. How have things been um, since we last spoke, which was uh, the day after the fire a couple of months ago? Um, well, we're living in a hotel now and I still don't know, we still don't know in terms of housing, because we were leaseholders, we don't know how that's going to work, uh, if we're going to be treated the same or not. Okay, so, so and you managed to get away for a bit of a holiday? Yeah. What was that like? Um, it was nice, just going back to Portugal and going home. Which is where your family is originally from, yeah. Portugal. Yeah, and we have a house there, so it was nice to be at home and go to our house, so yeah, it was nice to get away. Have you been able to to take your mind off things or do you find yourself thinking back to what happened just around the corner from um, here? I can take my mind off things, it's not a big problem for me, but occasionally I think about the worst. So because when we were speaking it was still it was a matter of hours, you know, after it had happened. And I remember thinking at the time, I wonder if it is sort of sunk in or how long it will take to sink in. Does it feel like it is sinking in now? Uh, slowly, um, day by day, but at the same time, it's starting to hit me more now than it was at the beginning, but I'm still coping with it quite well. What's hitting you about it? Um, I'm not having a home or my flat, mm. not having a bedroom. And it's a story that's not going to go away because we're still finding out more information about the people who lost their lives in the tower. And I'm sure you've been keeping an eye on all the political goings on. I mean, what's your take on all of it? Um, well, it's, it's going to be with us forever, really, because mm. it's a massive change. Um, we weren't expecting it at all. But I don't think anyone was expecting it. Anyone could imagine that kind of thing happening. But that morning you got your nose back in the books. You got an A because you did your chemistry exam. What's gonna happen in the next week or two? Because I mean, you'll be going back to school. Are you looking forward to getting back to the studying? Because you're obviously very good at it. Um, well, I kind of miss school because I've already had a long holiday. So I just kind of want to get back into a routine, um, go out a bit to normality. So let me get this right. Not only did you get GCSE results. You've also now got an A-level at 16. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what was it? Um, Portuguese. So you got a Portuguese A-level? Yeah. Two years ahead of anybody else normally doing it. What did you get? A C. <laughs> a C but a C at your age? That's incredible. You've got 10 GCSEs now, is that right? Yeah. One A-level already. You're going to study four more? Yeah. So you're going to end up, no doubt, with five A-levels. Yeah, I guess. You, you can choose where you want to go. Do you feel optimistic then for the future? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Having got those results after your world changed just a couple of months ago, I think it's fair to say that now with A-levels looming and who knows what after that university, I have no doubt the world is going to be your oyster. I hope so. I'm sure it will be. Inez, it's lovely to see you again. Thank you. You too.